What up YouTube? It's been a while, but we are finally back here in New York City. So I'm here this weekend because it is the weekend that Photo Plus is happening here in Manhattan. So Photo Plus is like a giant photography expo where all the big brands like Fujifilm and Sony come to show off all their new gear. And so I wanted to check out what all the new brands have to offer because why not? In addition to that, I'm linking up with a whole bunch of my friends, a couple of my work colleagues, and we're gonna do a whole bunch of photography. So I definitely wanted to document the entire weekend. Before we jump into Photo Plus, I figured we should come up with a game plan for what I want to check out. <clears throat> so I think the game plan, honestly, is just to go check out the new Fujifilm gear. I really want to see the X-Pro3, and I like that flip-out screen. The flip-out screen that comes down, I'll insert like a photo here or here to show you what it looks like. But I'm super interested in that and kind of the functionality of that. And also, I pre-ordered Peter McKinnon's new backpack that he created, and so I'm hoping the company that's making that is that Photo Plus. I'm gonna check that out as well. And then besides that, I don't really have any plans. So I actually caught the 5 a.m. flight out of Buffalo this morning, which got me into New York City around like 7 something a.m. So right now it's about 9. Been walking around the city, filming all the B-roll that you saw for the intro of this video. And uh, the convention center doesn't actually open for another hour or so. So I think I'm gonna run around, see if I can grab any photos. But for the time being, I'll catch up with you guys at the convention center. Down in the dungeon is all we know Where the shining light we never go into the open As far as you can see it Wasting there on the grind destiny Don't you feel like breaking free? So I walked around Photo Plus for a while, checked out all the booths. Literally every single vendor is here. Fujifilm, Sony, Sigma's here, Nikon, Canon. You name it, everybody's here. So I spent some time checking out the X-Pro3 and it is an awesome camera. If you watched my channel from the very, very beginning stages of my channel, you know that I'm a huge fan of Fujifilm. However, I switched over to Sony a little while ago just because it fit the bill a little bit better for video purposes and just making videos for this YouTube channel. So I went up to the Fujifilm booth, I played with an X-Pro3 for a little bit, and then I heard that they actually have like a loner section where you can get a camera and take it out for the day. And so I walked up, saw if they had an X-Pro3. Unfortunately, they didn't have an X-Pro3. However, they handed me a Fujifilm GFX 50S, which is, if you don't know, Fujifilm's medium format camera system. And this camera is absolutely insane. They let me take it outside, test it out. And so I've been shooting with it for the past like 30 minutes or so, nothing crazy, but just wanted to test it out put some photos on an SD card just to see what the image quality is like, and this thing is awesome. The ergonomics of it are fantastic. I really, really love Fuji's dials, but I don't know if it's for me. It's a little bit too bulky. The autofocus is really slow. It just uses contrast detect autofocus. The image quality I'm sure is gonna be fantastic, but if you watched my last video, you already know that I'm not quite ready from a storage standpoint to handle massive files like this. So. Super happy I got to shoot with this. I'll show you a couple of the photos I took right now, but this is not necessarily the camera for me at the moment. So Photo Plus has been awesome, but to be honest, I don't know what else I really want to check out there. I checked out the Fujifilm booth, I checked out the Zeiss booth and checked out a couple lenses, as well as the Sigma booth to check out their lenses as well. And I don't really think there's anything else that I really want to check out. It was cool because walking around, I actually saw a couple YouTubers that I recognized just from watching their videos in the past and stuff like that which is kind of cool just to see them in real life. But I think I'm gonna roll out from Photo Plus. My buddy Tony is actually in town right now and we're probably gonna do some photography around the city. I'm not sure exactly where we wanna head out to, but I'm gonna link up with him here shortly. I'm gonna return this camera because I'm starting to get anxious with a $7,000 camera hanging around my neck. I'm gonna return this, link up with Tony, and then we're gonna get some photography in. So stay tuned and let's get to some photography.
YouTube. What you just watched was my last couple hours of photography. So I started all the way down in Hudson Yards, which is kind of in like the Midtown area of New York. I walked up through Times Square and now I'm here in Central Park. And so if you know anything about Manhattan, that's a little bit of a long walk and I am absolutely exhausted. I think it's a combination of the fact that I woke up today at three o'clock in the morning with only like three or four hours of sleep and the fact that I've walked over 10 miles already today. So I am absolutely cooked and I hate heading out before the sun is completely set, but I think I'm gonna have to because I'm starting to lose energy and I need to get on like a 25 or 30 minute subway ride down to my buddy's apartment. So I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna grab some dinner and gonna shut it down for the rest of the night. But tomorrow I have big plans in terms of photography. So I'm definitely gonna keep filming tomorrow and continue this video then. But for the time being, gonna head down to my friend's apartment, get some dinner, and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning. Peace. Wow, today just completely flew by. It's already three o'clock. I was just at Photo Plus for a couple hours and you saw the montage sort of of me taking photos this entire morning. So I walked all the way from East Village all the way up to Midtown, which is where the convention center is, it's the Jacob Javits Center. And so I actually shot for like a solid two or three hours this morning, just walking all the way up here. And I think I got a couple solid photos. The one photo of the West Side Highway, of the cars in the foreground, and then the World Trade Center in the back. I think that one came out really solid. And then to be honest, the rest of them, I haven't really looked through them that much because I've been walking around like crazy, but I do think I did get a couple solid photos in there. I've been shooting all day today and most of yesterday with the Leica Q, which as most of you already know, it's a 28 millimeter fixed lens camera. And that camera and that specific focal length, I think really lends itself to my style of photography. So I wouldn't really consider myself a street photographer in the traditional sense. I kind of operate more as like a landscape photographer within a city and I try to wait for an interesting subject to come through cityscapes that I kind of like. And so that's what I've been doing all day. And I think that the 28 millimeter focal length really lends itself nicely to that style of photography and the style of photos that I've been taking today. So I've had the Leica Q now for several months. This is my first time actually using it for true street photography or urban photography. So I've been classic New York, people just beeping like crazy, but this is the first time I've ever used it for like actual street photography or shooting in the city, which is obviously its intended purpose. And I think it's perfect for it. Honestly, the 28 millimeter focal length, it might be a little bit wide for me because I don't like getting super close to people when I'm doing street photography. But when you're doing kind of like the cityscape style photography, waiting for an interesting subject to come through the scene, it's the perfect focal length for that. But I think I'm gonna wrap up the video right now because I have to catch a flight in a couple of hours. I need to grab a bite to eat and I don't really feel like vlogging me just getting onto my flight and getting food. So I think I'm gonna wrap this thing up. If you want to see more of my content in the future, definitely hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Down in the dungeon is all